In these problems, we're looking at improper fractions and then converting them into mixed numbers. So you need to know what an improper fraction is and what a mixed number is. An improper fraction is like this one here. What makes it improper is that the numerator, 11 up here, is bigger than the denominator, 6. And I guess we call that improper because usually we think of using a fraction to represent a number that's smaller than 1. And anything where the numerator is bigger than the denominator is bigger than 1. So this is really 1 and some other fraction. The way to convert it to a mixed number is to figure out how many 6's are up here in 11. How many can you take away? Well, 11 minus 6 would be 5. So this would be, you can think about it this way, 6 6 and 5 6 If you were to add those together, 5 plus 6 plus 5 is 11, 11, that would equal 11 sixths. So this is just another way of rewriting this. But anytime you have the numerator and the denominator the same, a number over itself, that equals 1. So this is really like 1 plus 5 sixths. And the way we'd write that would be 1 and 5 sixths. That would be what's called a mixed number. And they call that mixed because there's an integer part and a fraction part. So that's how to convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. Sometimes it may be more than one that you get for the integer part. For example, if this had said or 18 sixths, well there's three sixes in 18. Six plus six plus six would be 18. That is the same thing as six sixths plus six sixths plus six sixths, or one plus one plus one. That would actually equal three. All right, let's look at uh, the next one here. It says the improper fraction 5 thirds equals what mixed number? Again, we want to look at the denominator here and see how many of those we can take out of the numerator. 5 minus 3 would leave 2, uh, and there's no more 3's in there, so just that 1. It's really think of it like 3 thirds plus 2 thirds equals 5 thirds. So that's 1 plus 2 thirds, or 1 and 2 thirds. That would be our answer as a mixed number. All right, one more here. This one's a little bit more complicated. In this problem, it says simplify, express the answer as a mixed number. And then it's got this addition problem. So we're going to be adding these two things. And since we've got fractions here, we want to make sure the denominators are the same. They are. If that's the case, I could go ahead and break it up like this. I could say, let's do the integer part first, 2 plus 4. Well, 2 plus 4 is 6. And then I'm going to add that to this part, the fraction part, 3 fifths plus 4 fifths. So 3 fifths plus 4 fifths we need to figure out. To add fractions, as long as the denominators are the same, you just add across the top. 3 plus 4 is 7 fifths. But we've got a little bit of a problem here because we've come up with an improper fraction. So I need to convert that to a mixed numeral, a mixed number. So how many fives are in that 7? Well, there's 1 with 2 left over. So this would equal 1 and 2 fifths. And I want to add that back into my 6. 6 plus 1 is 7, and I've got my 2 fifths left over. That's probably the easiest way, at least for me, to do that one. 